walking through our Southern Africa garden and I've come to see a very distinctive member of the Proteaceae family. Now this is Ceruria florida and it's commonly called the Blushing Bride. Now Ceruria florida, it comes from a part of South Africa in a plant community known as the Finbos, Finbos. And it's a plant community adapted to fire. So although we see these beautiful flowers in floral arrangements, the plant's actually critically endangered in the wild. One of the reasons for that is increased frequency of fires. So the strategy this plant uses to regenerate after fire is it grows quickly, it produces lots of seeds. Those seeds are stored in the soil. They're often taken into the soil by ants, but the soil is a great buffer against the heat of the fire. After the fire has gone through the area, the seeds germinate and the plant can regrow. Of course, if the fires happen too frequently, it means the plant does not have enough time to set flowers and produce those seeds that are the way the plant can regenerate after fire. The common name, and in this case the cultivar name for this plant, the Blushing Bride, comes from folklore that suggests that a prospective suitor's chances of getting success in their proposal of marriage was indicated by how pink the flower of this plant was that they wore in their lapel when proposing.